St. Luke chapter 12, verse 36, and it reads, Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here for a bear. Watch. This red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they can call Jesus. Watch. The Lord is telling us to watch. Telling the hopeful elect to watch. Pay attention to what's going on, right? Keep up with these prophecies. Keep up with current events. Watch. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Constantly praying. Constantly begging the Lord for mercy. More endurance. You know. To make it through these perilous times that we're in now. But it's going to, it's going to hyphy, right? The Lord's going to turn it up, right? He's going to turn up the heat, right? So we're constantly praying. Praying. I said praying. I put watch and pray in the same word, right? St. Luke 30, 21. See, see, the majority of our people, the only thing they're doing is riding around having fun. Playing this stupid demonic music that ain't doing nothing but casting spells on them. But for the hopeful thing, we listen to music too. But not that nonsense right there, you know what I'm saying? But all this music pretty much casts spells on you. You see the different frequencies. Music that makes you sad, music that makes you want to party, music that makes you laugh, music that makes you want to delete somebody. We're supposed to be watching as well as praying. That ye may be able, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. All these different judgments, these different plagues. You know, the Lord said, look, look, earthquakes, wars, storms, floods, typhoons, you name it, man. All this chaos. Oh, yeah, the love of many didn't start at and coal already. Well, it's been and coal already, but now it's, it's on a whole nother level now. We want to be looking at famine. I said race wars already. All these things are taking place as I make this video. And Lord willing, we'll be accounted worthy to escape all these things. You got martial law getting ready to pop off. Um, cannibalism, the hour of temptation with sleazy is going to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to buy or sell. But like me and one of the brothers was talking um, on the phone earlier, yeah, this devil, you know what I'm saying? He may control the water and he may control the food, but he don't control Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. See, the Lord can create food out of thin air. The Lord can create water out of thin air. You see? So we're praying that we're kind of ready to escape all these things that have come to pass. Hell, cannibalism is going to pop off. Then, then the arts the end all, be it all, the missiles going to hit this place. We want to pray that we're kind of ready to escape that. You see? The, the laser beams from the chariots shooting down on people. We're constantly praying that we're kind of ready to escape that. Then things are popping up. You see how people are just bugging the hell out right about them? People are losing it because they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. So like in the scriptures tell us miserable are those that don't got the knowledge. And we'll see if we can get that too. Miserable, man. So we watching. And at the same time while we're watching, we're praying. You see, always wake up praying. Look, praying over our food. Praying for the brethren. Praying for the hopeful elect ladies out there. That the Lord shows them mercy and protect them. In, in the days, this, this fast approaching. In these days, in the days that are fastly approaching. Doing this destruction. People people actually losing out here. Losing it. They're, they're actually losing and they're actually losing it. So we're constantly praying to the God of the Bible. May they have mercy on us to protect us in these drastic times. But at the same time, we got to be walking circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're living in some deadly serious times, Israel. You see? It says um, that we're counted worthy, that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Not, not that might come to pass, that shall come to pass. You got these spirits that are created from vengeance. You got these different an animals attacking people at will. And to stand before the Son of Man, Lord Yahweh, when he come in the humongous chariot with the heavenly host, we're praying that we're kind of worthy to escape all that, man. Let me just bring out a couple of scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. It's, it's really going down. Look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Let's get to some of the things that are going down. It says, watch as well as pray that we're kind of worthy to escape some of these things. So let's get it right quick.
Let's get some of these things that's going to come to pass. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Bear with me. Let's go back up. So, because we'll look while everybody else is partying, shaking their tail fellow, scheming, selling drugs, doing drugs. Look, we're, we're focused, man. We're focused on what's really happening on the face of the earth, man. We're, 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 we're really focused, man. The same Matthew chapter 24. Because it says, watch as well as pray that you're kind of worthy, that you may be able to be kind of worthy to escape all these things. To escape what things? These right here. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads, And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. We want, we want the Lord want to be able to escape those wars. You see? And then you got talks of wars. This country said, I'm going to do this. This country said, okay, if you do that, then I'm going to do this. Uh, it's, it's really popping off, Israel. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, because all these things must come to pass. That's why we're constantly praying and watching. Watching and praying, right? It says, um, be not troubled. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the things that we're seeing now, it was like, yo, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. It says, for nation shall rise against nation. We want to be kind of worthy to escape that. Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Want to be worthy to escape that famine. The sore arrows of famine, right? Just looking around. Sometimes you can just feel chariots above you or, or around you because they out there. Does the scripture say um, the angels of the Lord are, are around about those that fear him and deliver them? Lord, one of the angels will come through. Lord, one of the, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall send the angels to come through for us, man. Lord's willing. It says, um, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, all kind of plagues, all kind of diseases. Lord, one would be able to account it worthy to escape it, right? Because we don't know. And earthquakes in diverse places, you're going to have all kind of earthquakes. My friend, let's just check the earthquake app. Let's read, the, let's read that last part. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Let's just check the earthquake app. I like to check it, though, so pretty much every day, see what's going on. Let's get this right quick. It says earthquakes in diverse places, right? This a new month. Let's see what, let's see what um, we in January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. We in September now. Look at this, 104 earthquakes already. This month, today is the first. Um, we're still in the, um, we're at the end of one week. But look, it was 779 earthquakes this week alone, man. 779 earthquakes this week alone. And the week hasn't even ended yet. Um, the last part of the week is, is on what? Sunday? Because Monday begins a new part of the week. So we got two more days. Right? It says, look, look, 107 earthquakes today. And today is the first one to be kind of worthy, Lord willing, to escape all that, man. So let's go back. Let's go back. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Remember, the Lord says some this devil gonna cast some of us into prison. This devil gonna cast some of us into prison. You know how it is, man. Let's get Zechariah. Let's get Ze Zechariah right quick. Zechariah, the 14th chapter. Lord, once again, Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape all these things, right? Zechariah chapter 14. And um, 12, let's see. Yeah. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And it reads, and this shall be the plague, representing the missiles, right? And this shall be the plague wherein, wherewith the Lord, Yahweh, who is only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you can call God and Jesus, will smite, mean and delete all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Our people before us a place, right? It says, um... Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Reminded me of um, that movie, um, Judgment Day, Terminator 2. Judgment Day, when the missiles hit, Sarah O'Connor was holding on to that fence. We're praying that we're kind of worthy to, Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape that, man. Those plagues, those ICBM missiles. Because it says, it says, but this, meaning this war shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This is going to be the war to end our wars, man. You see? This nuclear war, right? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What's going to make that happen? The ICBM missiles. And their eyes shall consume away while they 
and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape this, man. This, this day right here is going to be the, the most deadliest day known to mankind. The Lord says it's going to get worse than any time ever known on the face of the earth. Matter of fact, uh, let's get um, Isaiah right quick. I just want to prove something. Let's get Isaiah the ninth chapter. Let's just prove something right quick. So like you. This is Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5. And it reads, For every battle of the warrior... For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, going into the ancient battles, the ancient wars, how they was fought with spears, knives, horses, screaming, hollering. I read that again. I had to do something right quick. I read it again, though. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5, and it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, going into the ancient battles, how they was fought. A whole lot of screaming, a whole lot of hollering. People being hacked to pieces, you know what I'm saying, with knives and swords and things of that nature, um, bucklers and shields, right? Stampeding, stampeding of the horses, things of that nature. One opposing force against another opposing force, with one, like I said before, with a whole lot of screaming and hollering. Uh, B L double O D everywhere, all over the ground, right? Um, guts of horses and people just laying all on the ground, right? But it says, but this, but this war, but this fight shall be with burning and fuel of fire. And Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape all these things. And we read that it's a famine coming, no plagues coming, nation against nation. It's going to be race wars, class wars, civil wars. The economy is going to crash. You see? And Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape it, man. Lord, Lord willing. I want to get this scripture right here and close it. Cause like I said, just something quick through the spirit. Lord willing to be elect is edified. It's really about to go matter. Matter of fact, I get one more after this. This is on um, Revelation chapter three. Let's just get this right quick. Revelation chapter three, verse ten, and it reads, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, you suffered it. You suffered through it all." This Lord Yahweh shall speak in red letter, who the ignorant called Jesus, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, you endured it all. Because remember, he that endured it to the end, the same shall be saved. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Lord willing, we, we're, we're kind of worthy. You see. Lord willing, Yahweh Bashem shall put that spirit on us to not take that that sea hip. You see, and that's what the hour of temptation is. What this devil is going to um, the usher in, I'm saying, the, the mandate of the C-hip, that digital device is going to make it mandatory that you take that C-hip. Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape all that. Lord willing, the Lord will put his spirit on us not to take it, man. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. And Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape it. To look to try them that dwell upon the earth, so everyone's going to be faced with their hour of temptation. And Lord willing, the Lord will put His Spirit and keep their spirits on us to to do what is right, to not take it. Look, because because we don't know. I want to get this last one. Second Ezra, the sixteenth chapter. Remember, watch as well as pray, Israel. Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17, and it reads, Woe was me, woe was me, destruction, destruction. Who would deliver me in those days? Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape that, right? It says, uh, let's see. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars. Bear with me. It says, The beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. All these things are happening as we speak, but it's going to turn up. It's going to turn up, man. A whole lot of deletions, man. Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape all of it, right? Lord willing, we'll be protected in that day, right? It says, um, the beginning of wars, look, look, the, look, look, and great death. The beginning of, the beginning of famines and great death, Israel. There's going to be a whole lot of deletions going on, right? It says, um, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague. And Lord, what, what, what kind of worthy to escape all these things, man?
You see, but the majority of our people, they're not going to turn from their wickedness, no matter how bad it gets. So they're going to have to get up in, they're going to have to get caught up in everything that the Lord got coming down the pipeline. They're going to get caught up in everything that the Lord got coming down the pipeline, man. And, and I'll leave it there. I just want to bring out something real quick. Lord willing, the elect is that a fight. Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to escape everything that I just read, man. And to stand before the Son of Man, Lord's will, man. With that, shall I want.